must be well aware and we're no different from anybody else in the band. We have to be able to understand what's going on at the time in the song and work together with it, not against it. So say for instance, we're playing in the key of G major and we end up playing a flat seven, the F instead of an F sharp for a major. It's something very small and very simple like that that can make or break the bass line. So, I got an exercise for you. So with this exercise, we're gonna use a slap technique and don't worry, it's gonna be pretty simple. Uh, and the reason why I wanna use this technique is because I see and I hear so many bass players playing this the wrong way, right? And playing the wrong tonalities and the wrong chord tones inside of a song when they're slapping, just because they're slapping, they're used to playing that one. When it really doesn't cause for that or it doesn't call for that all of the time or for every single chord. So really quick, Simple exercise using the G major scale. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So I try to keep it as simple as possible because what I want you guys to understand or to focus in on is the fact that I played it diatonically to the scale. Every time a note came up where I had to play a half step, I played a half step and I didn't play the flat seven instead of the major seven. Okay, so in this case, G major, we have G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. F sharp is the only sharp that we have in this particular scale. So if we go up the scale, I can't play the F because F sharp is inside of the major scale. So I did that every time it correlates with the note that I'm landing on. So the A, that's right, I can do that with the flat seven or technically flat seven because A is actually the Dorian scale there. So playing that G actually fits. So if you notice, the only place where I did this, the only place where this works is when you have a half step in between that. So if you take the formula of a major scale, you have whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay, so the only time that I said half was twice. So the only time that I'm gonna make that movement, that half step movement is twice in this exercise. You can think about it that way. On the one, on the four because we have an Ionian scale there and then a Lydian scale on the C. And that requires you to play that exercise. So very, very simple, nothing to it. You can play it any style you want to. You can switch it up. It's nothing permanent here, but I want you guys to understand where these notes lie where to play these notes, when to not play these notes. If you're in a major scale, if you're in a major key and you are playing it on top of major chords, make sure you're playing the major seven instead of the flat seven, okay? Or the natural seven instead of the flat seven. Uh, in any case or any other case, uh, you could play that if it was a mixolydian or a dominant seven chord. You can play that dominant, that well, that flat seven, the F on the G, dominant seven because it fits there okay so th there's a time and a place for everything but for the one chord the four chord try to stay away from that so that's one little tip that i want to give you guys i know it's small i know it's minute uh but it really will help you uh in the long run and every time i hear that i think of it as a beginner mistake or just a bad habit so you want to fix that early on in your playing so you don't sound like you know, you're not too sure of what you're doing. So anyway, that's it for today. If you guys have any questions and or comments, chat it up in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you haven't subscribed, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that red subscribe button, click the notification bell icon at the same time you're doing that so you can get notified every single time we upload a video here on the channel. Also, if you have not become a member of the Bass Nation Academy, what are you waiting for? I strongly suggest that you do that right now. The link is gonna be in the description. Uh, you get a little bit more feedback from me. Uh, live classes, webinars, uh, 
video Q and A submissions, you get, like I said, you get feedback from me. So I won't take up too much time mentioning all that we have, all the courses and everything like that. You can check it out yourself. There's a free trial uh, just to check it out and see if it fits you and see if that's the place you need to be. I think it is. But anyway, you guys, make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise, like I say all the time. And I'll check you in the next one. Peace.